what is good welcome back to another video it's your boy yet in this video we're gonna be talking about my first week working at gordon food service in the transportation department that is with your cdo you know doing deliveries so i'm kind of gonna be going over my day to day you know my first week like i said i'm gonna start off with monday end it off on friday which is today so you know it's fresh off the dome we're gonna get straight into it also gonna be going over uh the pay because i am in training and training pay is different than you know once you're already a regular worker not in training no more the pay is different so we're going to be going over that we're going to be going over all the benefits because for a lot of people benefits are make it or break it so for the company uh so we will be going over that too and lastly i'm going to give you guys my overall thought and uh whether i recommend this company or not to someone i know before we get into the video though if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe right now i will be talking more about uh gordon food service and my experiences and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and make sure to like this video because it helps out with the algorithm so smash that like button right now right, so firstly we're gonna be going over my day-to-day -day. i'm gonna start off with monday on monday i ended up pulling up uh at 4 45 they told me to be there 15 minutes early because the schedule started around five o'clock now the warehouse was backed up like an hour because of uh, some people in the warehouse got COVID. So that means the packages weren't in the trailers on time, which backed up the whole process. So everybody ended up getting there like an hour late. So after waiting there for about an hour, a lot of the drivers came in uh, and uh, the managers came in. They ended up assigning me a trainer. I ended up, you know, getting hooked up with him. I was just riding along Monday. I did not drive the truck on Monday at all. And mind you, I've only, uh, prior to getting into the company, I only had my license for like three weeks to a month. So I was fresh out of the CDL school, just so you guys know. So they hooked me up with the trainer. Uh, like I said, I did not drive on Monday. I just rode along passenger seat, but when we did uh, stop at the restaurants to do the drop off, he was the one, you know, obviously training me, showing me how the scanner works, but he would load up all the hand trucks or dollies, however you uh, refer to them as. He would load them up and then I was just kind of, you know, Following him, he was showing me this is where you leave this, this is where you leave that because there's three separate uh, type of cases. You get freezer cases, dry cases, and uh, cooler cases. In some restaurants, that goes all in the same place. And then in other restaurants, they want cooler and then one spot, dry in one spot, and then the freezer in a different spot. So I was kind of getting, you know, it was a lot to absorb all at once, but you know, that's why you start off uh, at your own pace. First day, just road passenger, helped out moving the hand truck i got a big ass bruise right here i don't know if you guys can see it or not probably not i'm pretty dark but like i said i ended up getting a bruise I, the first day i even had like a it was a bit swollen and everything from the dolly because i have never worked with dollies before and it was just leaning on my arm i was doing it incorrectly which is why i got the bruise and uh, it was swollen besides that uh, i feel like it was a good day it is very physical don't get me wrong don't think you're just gonna be sitting in the truck all day because that is not how this is gonna work it is a very physical job you do sweat a lot so you might even want to bring a little towel or something because you, you are gonna be sweating and mind you at the same time my body isn't used to doing so much physical work because in my previous job i didn't do too much physical work but besides that my body needs to adjust to doing that much physical work which is just you know getting your body into a habit of but continuing on uh, we had 600 cases on Monday and with 12 stops finished around 3 o'clock and then uh, you know we get back to the warehouse and then you just clock in in the computer and clock out whatever you put your time that was for Monday Tuesday in the morning I uh, pull up 445 so my trainer ends up asking me do you think you're ready enough to drive the, the truck I was like of course I'm always gonna say yes you know I'm confident in my driving I feel like I did really good in the, uh, the CDO school so I was like yeah I mean it's better to learn now. I want to pick up as much information as I can as soon as possible. The sooner I pick this up, the better, you know, the better the flow is going to go. I don't want to take too long trying to get behind the wheel or getting used to the whole job. I, I want to process everything as much as I can. Obviously, my own pace whenever I do feel ready. <clears throat> so I said yes, of course. By the way, their trucks, they do have a mix of manual transmission and automatic transmission. But I believe most of them are manual transmission. At least the ones I've driven. I haven't been on an automatic. So if you do have a restriction, I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. I know they have someone with a restriction, but they're pushing him to get his uh, the restriction taken off. So Tuesday I ended up driving. So I was driving and doing the loads. He was still, you know, putting more of the cases on the dolly because I wasn't doing too much scanning that day. I was just getting used to driving, stopping, parking, and then you know just getting the dolly from inside 
uh, the trailer to the restaurant and all that. So I didn't do too much scanning or moving of the cases onto the dolly too much. He was no, you know, still doing more of that. Wednesday was actually different. Wednesday we had to do um, these um, online courses that you had to watch some videos and answer some questions. So on Wednesday I actually went in at like eight, eight o'clock in the morning. So on Wednesday I ended up going in at eight o'clock in the morning. I started doing that on the computer and they're all pretty simple, you know, watch a video, answer about what you saw in the video. It's pretty self-explanatory. Around 12 o'clock they were like, look, if you guys want to go to lunch, go ahead and get your lunch. And uh, I was like, all right, yeah, that's cool. So we clock out this and that. He's like, if you want, actually, you could just go home. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, um, if you want, you could just go home and then I'll send you the link and you just finish it at your house. I was like, all right, yeah, that's cool. I mean, does it change my pay at all, this and that? He said, no. I ended up going home. I told him I was just there for three hours. That was for Wednesday. Wednesday was a real short day. Thursday, we went in to talk about our benefits. So I went in, I did a little bit of the online uh, course thing again, while the HR lady ended up talking to us about the benefits. So I'm not gonna get too much into the benefits right now. That's all we did pretty much for Thursday. Today, which is Friday, I actually drove the truck again. And at the stops, I did use the scanner a lot more. I was scanning on a lot of the cases. We were kind of switching back and forth because there's only uh, one scanner can be used for the loads and everything. So he was connected to it. So we would kind of pass the scanner back and forth. I would scan, place all the packages on the on the hand truck you know because i need to get used to it as well the faster i pick it up the better it is for me in the long run you get me the quicker i pick this up the better so that was pretty much you know my first week like i said it's really physical so if you're not ready to do all that physical work it can be pretty tiring loading up the hand trucks with all those cases the cases can be up to 50 pounds there are even some of those like big rice bags that are like 70 pounds but um put on the hand truck whatever you feel like you can uh, move from the truck to the restaurant. And I also forgot to say, um, you get it off the truck mainly by using a ramp that you, you, you take out of the truck from the back of the trailer. There's not too many uh, lift gates. The lift gates is those like floors that just kind of elevate down. There's not really too many trucks with those. Mainly it's just using the ramp off the trailer just so you know, keep that in mind. So that's gonna be it for the day-to-day -day basis. Next up, we're gonna be talking about the pay. Like I said, the training pay is different from pay that you start getting after you're done with training. So with training, you're gonna get a base pay. Nothing else matters. It doesn't matter how many miles you do, how many cases you deliver, because you're working you know, with your trainer and the trainer is the one that's getting all that. So I'm gonna get more into that now. So for the newbies that get in there and uh, they're in training, there is a base pay of $250 per day. And I found this out not too long ago. That only counts if you're there for six hours and 45 minutes of the day. That counts as you being there a whole day. So that's when you get your 250 for those days. Now, mind you, on Wednesday and Thursday, I was not there for more than six hours. So that means for those two days, I didn't get my 250, but I could have chosen to stay but since one of the assistant managers, I guess, wasn't too, like, you know, didn't really know too much about that, I guess. He ended up telling me, oh, no, it doesn't affect your pay. You still get your 250 for the day. Just go home, finish that at the house. So that's why I was like, all right, I left. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to get the whole 250 for those two days. Uh, I stayed around three hours, so I'll get like half of 250 for each of those days. But for Monday, Tuesday and Friday, I will get my 250 base pay for all those three days. And then, like I said, those two days. So let's kind of just add up what 250 times five would have been, you know, if you do your full day for all five days. 250 times five is 1250. Not bad, that is before taxes though. But since those two days, you know, I only stayed half a day, you kind of do the math. Half of 250 is 125. You could kind of put 250 times four because that's what I'm gonna pretty much get. And that's a thousand. Now look, that's a thousand. But there is a minimum pay that you can never get less than a thousand seventy per week. So if I'm only gonna get a thousand this week, then they're gonna bump it up to a thousand seventy because that is the minimum that they will pay you per week if you worked every day. So bump that thousand up to a thousand seventy. Like I said, that's the minimum, and then you take away taxes from that. So that's another good thing. Like let's, let's say you didn't do enough work. They help you out by giving you that minimum. So you know you're always going to have a certain amount of money each week or more. And I will get to the or more right now. After you're done training, 
you get into something that's called the component pay. The component pay is uh, split into it's split into a few different categories. So the component pay, you get paid by how many miles you drive. You get paid by how many cases you deliver. You get paid by how many stops you do. And lastly, you get a base pay just for going into work for that day, as long as it's you know over the six hours and 45 minutes. So the base pay starting off is $76 as soon as you get to work that day, right? That's you're gonna be your base pay. Remember, this is after training, not with the 250 day. So as soon as you walk in the door, you got $76, that's your base pay, boom, for the day. Then per mile, they pay you, I believe it is 29 cents per mile. And you usually do around 100 miles a day so, you know, you guys do the math. I'm not going to do all the math. So you get 29 cents per mile and you do around 100 miles a day. Next up is cases. Cases, I believe it's almost 21 cents per case, but you do like around 600 cases per day. So I feel like that's where you're going to have most of the money coming in is the case. With miles, yeah, you're not going to drive too many miles because, you know, sometimes the stops are really close together but if you get a lot of cases that's where the money is if and if you do the math you'll see that you're going to be getting most of the money from the cases next up is what you get paid per each stop and that is two dollars and 75 cents per stop and you have an average of around 12 stops per day you know give or take you usually don't do more than 13 as i've heard next up we're going to be talking about the benefits now i really think that the benefits are great so part of the benefits is obviously you get your health insurance and your dental insurance and it's pretty damn cheap and i've heard that it covers a good amount too so you're not gonna be you know paying for a cheap uh insurance that's gonna cover almost nothing that you're gonna be pretty much putting everything out of pocket that's not even worth paying no this insurance actually you know covers a good amount uh <clears throat> so let's get into what you're gonna be paying for insurance the cheapest insurance that you can get, which is the ones that I got, um, is, is $15 for health insurance and $2.50 for dental insurance. And this will be taken out every paycheck. So it's not once a month, it's gonna be taken out of every single check. $17.50 out of your check, you're barely gonna see that, you're not gonna notice it at all. And what you get for those $17.50, I feel like you're getting a good ass bargain. On top of the insurance, you do also get um like a like a life insurance, which is you know, if you were to pass away, you can leave, you know, some money to either your spouse, kids, or even parents, if that's what you want to do. You know, you get to choose whoever you leave your money to, they get approximately fifty thousand. I think the fifty thousand is the minimum. But if you average out more in a year, then they'll get that average. If you're averaging 60K a year, and in this company, you could average um, around 80K, you know, pretty close to 100K, I've heard, if you really put, like, you know, you're working. So they get that average, minimum 50K, and they split it to, you know, whoever you leave the money to. They also do life insurance for your spouse and uh, dependents, like your kids. So if your spouse were to pass away, you know, you would get $10,000 for your spouse. Also for your kids, if your kids were to pass away or dependents, they give you $5,000. So that's something to keep in mind, you know. Next part of the benefits is obviously 401k. The good thing about their 401k is that they match up to 4%. So let's say out of a $1,100 check, 4% would be $44, which they will match dollar for dollar they match up to four percent not more than that so if you do four percent they'll take away 44 dollars for your 401k and they'll add 44 dollars for your 401k and just in that one check you now have 88 dollars in your 401k so keep that in mind that's a good you know thing to have for retirement i think that's really great you know matching 401k that sounds pretty fire to me that's kind of all the benefits i'm really going to talk about right now the, there's they had some other optional ones that i didn't get into so uh, since I didn't look into it too much, I'm not going to talk about it because I don't know too much about it, if you know what I mean. My overall thoughts on the company. I think this company is great. Yes, you do have to put in a lot of work. It is a lot of physical work. If you are not willing to put in, you know, physical work and all you want to do is just 
get behind a truck and drive and not have to deal with the loads, then this is not the place for you here. You will make good money. You will have to put the work in. Also forgot to mention, they do give quarterly bonuses. As in every three months, if you do good uh, with attendance and also, you know, package accuracy and all that, like you've been delivering good, you get a bonus for each. I think the bonus for one of them is 300 and the other bonus is around 200. So quarterly, if you, you know, if you're on, you know, 100% on your stuff, you could be bringing 500 extra dollars on a check every three months, which, you know, they don't even have to do. So it's something good. It's an extra $500. That's pretty fire. But besides that, like I was saying, if you really want to put in that work and you know, you're willing to do that for the money, then it's, then it's absolutely a great company. Like I said, if you're lazy or if you just don't want to be handling any packages or dealing with anything inside the trailer and not touching no fright, then this is not for you. Now, am I saying that I want to do this for the rest of my life? No, I don't want to be doing this much physical work for the rest of my life. I don't know how long I want to do this for. I kind of want to give myself, you know, two years to kind of figure out something else because I don't want to be, you know, working this hard for that long. So I say two years, it could be a little bit more. That's kind of where I'm seeing it. This is like a good step into getting your experience and making good money while you're doing it. That's kind of the way I see it. And also later on, if I do end up doing No Touch Fright, not saying I will, but you know, you never know what we're gonna be getting into, but I will be talking more about trucking in this channel. So make sure to leave something in the comment. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now and make sure to like the video because it helps out a lot in the algorithm. Do that right now. Well, I recommend this company to family and friends. I'm gonna go ahead and say, as long as they're willing to put in that work, cause it is physical work, like I said, I do recommend it. The benefits are great. The pay is great. The only thing is you gotta put in the work. But yes, I 100% will recommend this. Just, you know, with that, just advising them on the physical work. It is a big deal for a lot of people. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, like I said, subscribe, hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions or want me to get into detail, into specifics about certain things, uh, just let me know down in the comments and, and let me know if you wanted me to get on a live so I can, you know, answer your guys' questions. But that's pretty much going to be it for the video. It's your boy Yad and I'll see y'all boys in the next one.